Hello, today's tutorial will show you how to create a water sphere in Blender, like this, or like this. Let's get started. First, we need to create a UV sphere. I'll scale it up a bit, then apply rotation and scale to reset the values to one. To make the UV sphere look smoother, select Shade Smooth. Now, to make our sphere have water-like ripples, go to the Modifier Properties and add a Geometry node. I have prepared my Geometry node setup here. You can connect the nodes like this to get the corresponding result. If you want to understand why it works this way, I will now explain each node. First, let's start with the subdivision surface. As you can see, it's just a node to subdivide the mesh, which helps smooth the deformations of the sphere. To move the vertices on the sphere, I use the set position node. As you can see, the noise texture creates noise areas of white and black on the sphere. The white areas are affected by the displacement, while the black areas remain unchanged. Now let's move on to the texture coordinate. If you frequently work with shader nodes, this will be very familiar to you. It's used to adjust texture maps on the object, as in this case with the noise texture on the sphere. To make the sphere's surface change in real time, I entered hashtag frame 500 in the purple section. This makes the surface change with each frame but slows it down by 500 times to avoid being too fast. A small note, if you can't find the multiply or add node, use the math node and set it to multiply or add, or use the math vector node and set it accordingly. Now, let's add material to the water sphere. I've prepared the shader nodes here, you can connect them similarly to get the water sphere material. I'll explain what each node does. The material shader for the water sphere consists of three main parts, water wave, water caustic, and water outline. Let's start with water waves. The noise texture is connected to both the bump node and the displacement node to create the water waves on the surface of the sphere. The texture coordinate and mapping nodes still adjust the textures on the object. Now, let's move on to water caustic. As you can see, the water caustic part creates white patterns on the water surface. These white patterns will also cast light onto the surrounding environment. To make these water highlights show up in the environment, we'll connect them to the emission channel. I'll use magic textures and adjust the brightness and contrast to make it fit better. The water outline section creates highlights for the deformed shapes from the geometry node. It mixes the main shader with the emission node using layer weight. Adjust the highlight area width using layer weight or color ramp node settings. Here, a light path node is plugged into the alpha channel of the main shader, allowing the water shader to be affected by objects behind it. When the shader is off, the water sphere appears more solid blue without the influence of the sky. We're done! Now we have a water sphere just like the one above. This water shader works with EV, but I find cycles to be more realistic and better suited for the environment's colors. I recommend using cycles for rendering. Thank you for watching the video. If you found it helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to motivate me to make more videos. See you next time.